drug cartels, dirty cops and mid-level mobsters, these are novelist Don Winslow's people, the folks who fill his books with moral dilemmas and festering grudges. To enter Winslow's world is to step onto a fast-moving train to trouble. These books, including his latest, City on Fire, William Morrow, 384 pp, half out of four, out Tuesday, are adrenalized plot machines whose pages seem to turn themselves. City on Fire is modern date take on the Iliad, except the woman at the center doesn't launch a thousand ships. Instead she's the unwitting instigator of a bloody war between Irish and Italian gangsters in 80s and 90s Providence, Rhode Island. Once they get wound up, however, no one really seems to remember, or care, how it all started. Like so many wars, this one runs on pride and its own momentum. Winslow sets the table by introducing a fragile alliance between friends and associates. The Murphy family, and their even-keeled adjunct Danny Ryan, have seen better days. Danny's father, Marty, used to run the show, but now he's at the bottom of a whiskey bottle. Meanwhile, the Moretti boys, Peter and Polly, are on the rise, and they've got the rackets to prove it. So when Peter has a dust-up with hot-headed Liam Murphy over Pam, a new girl in town, the Irish are at a distinct disadvantage. Winslow knows how to set a dozen subplots and characters in motion and keep them moving. There's Sal, the Moretti's best killer who happens to be a closeted gay man, Shades of the Sopranos and Vito Spadafore. There's Danny's estranged mother, Madeline, who could fill her own novel, a Vegas showgirl who learned how to play the power game but could never get her son to forgive her absence. 